Natasha founded the Vibes of Academy Consciousness, an online spiritual learning center that allows people to develop their existing spiritual abilities. Natasha and Kellyanne are the co-founders of the Octopus Method. They're going to go into what the Octopus Method is. I'll save that for you guys. Now, Kellyanne Mass was born to two entrepreneurs in Edmonton, Alberta. If I read that the way it's read, it sounds like you're... Oh, okay, it is. Okay. In 2011, she wasn't born in 2011. No. Look right. After healing herself from years of un unhealthy or unexplained infertility, using Louise Hayes' philosophies and books, she hired her first life coach. Kellyanne is now a Kashuk Records life coach and a license to heal your life teacher and life coach. She assists her clients to know their wholeness, connect to their oneness, and receive their own grace with more ease than she did. Oh, that is so cool. After completing the octopus method herself, Kelly is an Oh, and I lost it. There we go. After completing the octopus method herself, Kelly Ann's income for the first quarter of 2019 was greater than her income for all of 2018. She is serving more clients in a more meaningful way and solution-based way. Most of all, she has the best life-work balance that she has experienced, which allows her to focus on what requires her attention in the moment for both work and home. So without further ado, it's the octopus method. Thank you everyone for being here. This is a wonderful turnout. Um, thank you so much. You probably know Ken Lewin is the longest. Yeah, but I think you've probably made very more of these jokes than I have. <laughs> yeah. And I laugh at most of them. Did you hear his famous one liner? Oh, yeah. It works, hook, line, and sinker. Have you met your guides yet? <laughs> that sounds like absolutely. Thank you very much, Ken, for having us here today. It's very much appreciated. And as, and as Ken said, our relationship goes back for quite a while, and so it's always gratitude to you. And Ken's also he gave me permission to share with you. He's taken the octopus method. And um, yeah, the octopus method is is an Akashic Record mentorship, really, um, that actually balances and your business and your life. It's functioning your business and your life. So it's for self-growth and for business development. Absolutely. And 
not only is it that, but it's an Akashic Records mentorship. Now, Kelly and I, <laughs> I like to say we're the Akashic Records frequent visitors, but that is a total understatement ever. We spend a lot of our time in the Akashic Records. And what the Akashic Records are, um, the simplest way that I could explain it is, is the Google of the spiritual world. So much more than that, it's really the fabric of all existence. I might be a little bit biased on that, but it is the knowledge and wisdom of all that exists, all that ever will exist, and all that has existed. And connecting to the Akashic Records has not only helped me transition from a very much of a corporate career to really stepping into my spirituality, doing my own healing, gathering my own answers, um, and you know, and then presenting it to everybody else and empowering them to connect to their own records. Because I feel that everybody should have access to their own soul's blueprint to guide them and you know navigate them throughout life. And one of the ways it was birthed really was I had one of the questions we get asked all the time is who am I and why am I here? Right? And when we look at purpose. I came to realize that we're always on purpose. Everything at every moment is coming to teach us, to navigate us, or to shift us into a different direction, right? So I started thinking about this and I thought, you know, I have 14 years of corporate marketing experience. Now I've launched into this whole embracing my spirituality. How do I merge the two? And then I was like, oh, Akashic Records for business, <laughs> you know? And then all of a sudden, you know, as soon as that starts to open up, the French Way Bible map was dropped into my lap. Um, and I looked at it, and it's about creating flow, and it's about looking at all areas of your life. And I thought, wow, what if instead of actually functioning our space, we actually functionate our lives and our businesses? So it's looking at the area of abundance and looking at where are we over supporting, where are we under, under supported. And so on, going through love, relationships, knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Um, and there it started kind of like, started to fall into place. Yeah, and we came from a background of burnout over burnout, burnout again, burnout again. It's my life challenge is overcoming burnout. And so one of the foundations of the octopus method is self-care. It's something we schedule in. We, and, you know, mothers, um, fathers, we all have demands on us. Um, when we don't have kids, we tend to look after the world as well. And we overgive, we overplease. We, and Matt Hahn recently released his new book, and um, he has a line in there for boundaries. I would love to give more, but my time has come. And that really resonates with the octopus as well, because we really ask you to put yourself first. Now that doesn't mean putting others last, it just means they're second. Just like in your own life, um, in their lives, they will put themselves first and you second. And if we all did that, it would be a much healthier world because we would, we would give from a full cup and we would only give to what we wanted to give. Like really, you don't want someone in your energy who doesn't want to be there. There's lots of people on this earth. So by giving to ourselves first, we're in our own energy. And that speaks to some of the process we do. Yeah, so we're actually going to give you quite a bit of the process today. It's a lot more involved, um, but absolutely, it starts with self-care, right? Um, there's 167 hours in a week. You can at least take one for yourself. So one of the biggest advocates that, you know, that we, we talk about, we advocate for self-care in the sense of looking at your self-care not only from, oh, I'm gonna go for a massage, or for me, it's like I'm gonna go hike up a mountain. For some, it doesn't feel like self-care, but you know, it's finding out what do you need physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And really setting in in the morning and going, okay, what do I need as part of that? And then build it into your day. And we, we say, put it into your calendar as if it were a client. Because you won't shift a client, but you'll quickly shift that time on yourself. Right? So self-care is a massive, massive part of it. And it's about keeping promises to yourself. Absolutely. How often will we break a promise to ourselves to keep a promise to someone else? 
Yeah. The next thing that we look at um, is action. It's not enough to just think positive. We need to action positive. We are spiritual beings having a physical experience, and we create the physical. We materialize our dreams by taking action. No matter how big or how small it is, and we start looking at breaking things down. And <laughs> so I've been through, in, in times where I'm, I'm, life is great and wonderful, and at the moment, my life is a little bit crazy. And I'm just taking one day at a time. And as I take one day at a time, I ask, what is the most important thing for me to do today? What are three little steps that I can do today to get my, to get my life moving in the direction that I want, okay? It doesn't happen without action. It starts thoughts, fueled by your emotions, put into place by your actions, is what creates the world around you. Today, you can pinpoint the butterfly, but connect back all the dots to where you are today, and you'll see it will start with your thinking, and then the actions um, that you brought you to here today. And the octopus is a brilliant animal. Um, when we were guided to write this method together, with help of Lord of the Akashic Records. So Lord of the Akashic Records is an archangel that's 100% of the light that looks after, he's the guardian of the records. And um, and if you can think it, there's a record for that. Uh, everything has a record. And what we teach people is how to consciously access their own records. You've all been in your records. Those moments of flow, those moments of euphoric, life is great, life is going well, you're in your records. Your soul aligned in those moments. So we teach people how to consciously access, and each tentacle is a different area of your life, and questions are asked of your higher self or your Akashic, and we guide you through it, and you receive information from your own blueprint and your own soul. And the octopus is never in tug of war. All eight tentacles are working together. If a tentacle gets bitten off, it regenerates it. And it all, all the tentacles protect the head and the hearts, love and health. So every tentacle feeds into love and health. So it really is feng shui your life. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then we move on to the next thing, which we don't do. Um, quite as often as we should, um, and not, not shitting on anyone because we don't like that, but we could start to celebrate our wins a little bit more. It has really been kind of put out there that it's egotistical, it's pride, it's all the rest of that, but what happens when we start to celebrate our wins, no matter how big or small, even if it's just like a woohoo, I did it, you know, kind of a thing, it starts to put you into that vibrational frequency of celebration. And when you're in that frequency, we like it, we attract. I mean, we're all magnets, constantly magnetizing towards us what we think, what we feel, and what we do. So if you have more things to, you know, if you celebrate the small things, it will give you space to celebrate for the bigger things, and it will pull forward that frequency to you as well. And that's very much also goes hand in hand with gratitude, where we start looking at not why is this happening to me, but how is this happening for me and the octopus method tends to give you a conscious kind of like wait let's stop what is there to celebrate today even if it's just i'm breathing today is you know something and once we start looking for things to celebrate for we start to recognize them and as we start to recognize these things to celebrate or to be grateful for we start to really shift our lives and start to come into this flow of passion and purpose. And life gets easier. And it gets more fun. Absolutely. Shall we okay. so open intention? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give you a little bit of an experience of um, the octopus method. <laughs> Kelly and I have co-written um, an intention. Um, an octopus method, the OM, I come from a very uh, IT background and putting acronyms in everything when we realize that Octopus method, the acronym would be OM. We're fully excited about that, right? So really connecting all of your chakras to your you know, spirituality, um, really being guided because a big part of the octopus method is that when your heart and your head are in alignment, you know you're being led by your soul. 
okay? And it's time to start really becoming in that because your head is masculine and your heart is feminine. It's about bringing that into alignment so that you're led by the greater purpose of why you are here. So we invite you to keep your eyes open if you like open eye meditation or close your eyes, whatever feels right. Take three deep breaths to really land in this moment. Allow anything that resonates with you, you get to keep that. Anything that doesn't, allow it to release. And this is inspired by Force and Miracles and the work of Matt Plant for the infants, that's part of it. I am all that I am. I am grounded, clear, centered, and ready. I am here as who I am, ready to serve my purpose. I am here, worthy, whole, and complete, representing the one. I am worthy, I am whole, I am one in all that I think, say, and do. I am so happy to be here, filled with limitless grace, love, joy, and compassion. I am grateful for the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding I received today. All that we are, I am. All that I am, we are. Take a deep breath. Allow those words to integrate. Allow those light codes to receive by this mantra. To move in through your body. And your own here. And when you are ready. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like a copy of the Om Intention, we still have some cards left on our table and they're a gift to you. So please um, take it home with you. There's a beautiful artwork by a local Sherpa Park artist, Carlene Ross. She usually paints turtles and does a beautiful job of them, very detailed. She painted our octopus for us, our feng shui octopus. And the octopus picture works as a bag for feng shui. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And it'll give you. So we're in the process of actually. Um, uh, this will be a book, this methodology. Yes, um, we are self publishing the method as a book. And it's it's coming out uh, hopefully January. We're in editing, we've written it. We're in editing and publishing. Um, yeah, so as long as there's not too many unexpected, so in the next little while we should have it out in January. Life happens, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you'll note on the tentacles there's affirmations, and that is the title of each of the chapters in the book. And that is the title of each area of your life that we will work on. Uh, when we do the methodology, and we will be doing the methodology yeah. in the method in person in September. Yeah, so we do on Zoom in person, though you get both of us. It's a 12 week program, but this year it goes over 14 weeks. So there's two weeks of integration because of Canadian Thanksgiving <laughs> and Halloween. Um, so we're offering it this, this fall. So we have two people signed up already. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And Kelly uh, is a coach, I do consulting, and it's a, yeah, it is definitely a mastermind, and it's one-on-one -on -one coaching with Kelly and I, and we take you through a process of releasing the old within the Akashic Records, working a lot with the Violet Flame of St. Germain, um, and then we help guide you in receiving the information, either from your higher self or the Akashic Records. We have questions that we've um, that we've been guided to ask that will from the records, yeah. yeah, from the records that will you know help you to highlight um, different areas of your life as well, and then we put a plan um, into motion, and it's those three little steps so that you know we're actioning things in, and we're not left with a list at the end. Every week there will be something that you need to work in, which is guided from your own records, from your own business's blueprints. Um, yeah, and then we celebrate each other as well. After yeah, that. you create this beautiful mastermind because everyone who registers attracts their group. And you create this wonderful mastermind that just cheers you on. There's no competition, it's all collaboration. And you really support each other on the path that has been downloaded. Yeah.
Thank you so much for listening. Awesome. Thank you. That was amazing. Awesome. And if you want to have a chat, they're in the booth. The third one from the, or the first one as you walk in the door on my left. Someone at the booth, wave. Give them a wave. There they go. So we're going to take another probably 15 minutes, 20 minute break. And then we're going to bring up Ken Lewicki.